Good morning. We are here at Dancing Bee Equipment on these gorgeous days. Nice, full of sun. It's a great day to get into our hive, check for feed, and make sure that our bees or laders are doing all right. So they are doing great today. I'm just going to open up the inner cover right now, very gently. They're fairly calm. The weather's gorgeous. Take off the winter rim. And I'm going to take off the inner cover very gently. I'm going to set this down. Look at, they're all nice and on the cover. I'm just going to set this down in front for right now. And they are doing very well. They're nice and full. They're very calm. See, I can even put my hands here. They're, they're really great. So today we're going to give them some food. Now it's mid, about mid-April. So right now we're going to give them what we call a pollen patty. So we have several different kinds of pollen patty. We have Ultra Bee, which is what we're going to give them today. We have Global Patties with Hive Alive uh, nutrients and seaweed in them. They're fabulous as well. Um, and I'm going to show you something different. With these pollen patties, you want to keep the parchment paper on them, no matter which pollen patty that you use. Um, we also have Ultra, uh, excuse me, Bee Pro patties as well that are similar just to the Ultra Bee. Keep the parchment paper on them. I'll show you a little bit more about those after. What people have been treating and what we tend to do in the winter is the Hive Alive Fondant. So people ask me when it's good to stop feeding fondant and when to go to the protein patties. So the fondant is perfect for winter. It's easily for them to digestible, digest um, and they can access it for when they need emergency foods if they go through their honey. So we generally tell people not to go through um, and add protein patties too early because that encourages brood growth. Uh, the queen will lay her eggs and if you do it too quickly and too soon, you might get a huge boom of population which might cause early swarms. So you just have to manage your, your hive a little bit better to make sure that they don't swarm. So that's one. So we're not going to add these anymore. We've added a few during the winter. Um, we're going to add that. Another thing that people add is pollen, feed bee. Um, you can add this dry. Some people will add it dry to the inner cover or to a feed box. Um, I like to mix it with sugar water to make my own patties. So if you want to make your own patties, there's recipes that you can use this pro high protein feed, po feed bee pollen um, to make your own patties. But what we're going to do for us right now is we're going to take the Ultra Bee uh, patties and I'm going to show you how to place it right on the hives. So you want a nice day, you don't want to disturb them too much, and they want to be on the hive so that when we get the cold weather next week, it's not they're not going to be um, leaving their cluster to find food, and that could be detrimental to the hive. So gently, where we're going to, oh, there's some pollen right there. We're going to just gently smoke. So you can see how they're all clearing there. And then as they smoke, they clear away, I'm just going to scrape a little bit in the center to make some room. There we go. And I'm going to just place this gently over the cluster. So that when it starts to get cold again, which I know it's going to be doing in a couple weeks, they're going to be able to access that and not get cold. And what I can do is gently take my inner cover, give them a little bit of a smoke here as well. So they come off into the cover, give them a little bit of a brush, just slightly. And I place this gently on the top. I like to do my hover method. Again, they'll get out of the way. There we go. So not too, too tight. You can see they're fanning already. Give them a little bit more on the side. I can put my winter rim back on. They'll find their way in. I'm just going to take, there's a little bit of a little bit here that I'm going to take out in the center. That'll help everything as well. Clean that out so I can access that. I will put my pillow back in to help absorb the moisture. Now you notice I'm not unwrapping because again, it's gonna still be cold in the next couple weeks. We're still just mid-April. We know weather in Ontario especially can be quite unpredictable. 
So we're just going to put that back on gently and we're going to make sure they have an entrance there. And also you want to make sure that your entrance is clear because they do um, want to take out their dead bodies when they die. They're very hygienic so we want to take out anything. Just give a quick sweep. I've already removed my upper entrance. You can see some pollens going in already there. I don't know if you can, there she is. Some gorgeous yellow pollen coming in. But we want, we need to uh, make sure that there's lots. Perfect. So stay tuned. We're going to talk about mite treatments very soon because it is that time to start thinking about mite treatments. Some of you may have already started with certain treatments. This one is now um, a really good one. It's a new one that Dancing Bee is the exclusive provider for in Canada. It's called Appy Life Var. And we're going to talk about it and show you how to apply this to your hives along with other different treatments. So stay tuned for those videos. Um, if you like our channel, if you need more information, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on all our socials and we're here for you if you have any questions. Have a great day.